So I get up at about 5 a.m. Um, in order to get myself together, and then I have to do, go through the process because I'm a mom. I walk down to the end of the street about 6.15. I take off at about 6.30, 6.35. It feels like you never actually go to work. You know, it's like, cause you get ready in the morning and you get in your vehicle, which my vehicle is a bus, and I'm driving. And then by the time I park my vehicle, I'm done. So it's like, did you go to work or did you just drive? I don't know, it's, it's kind of, that's the thing that I always loved about it. It's like, I went on this commute and then it ended and somebody paid me. I decided to be a bus driver on a whim. Actually, I was a stay-at-home mom for my kid. He was two at the time, so he was getting ready to start school. And uh, I kept driving past a bus yard, and they kept saying they were hiring drivers, and I figured, can't be that hard. So I kind of gave it a try, and it was literally love at first drive. Good morning. I always tell people not to be intimidated by the size, because driving a bus, if you can drive a Suburban, you can drive a bus, in all honesty. It's just a matter of never getting complacent, and always checking your mirrors. Once your kids get to know you and you build a rapport, it's, it's actually kind of hard to leave a bus once you get used to it. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. It's the job that you grow to love very quickly, and especially if you are into extracurriculars or you have children in the school system, you driving their games, you're getting paid to drive their games. You become a fan of, of different events at different schools. It's not just one school. I'm not just a fan of my children's school. I'm a fan of other schools and, and even their rival schools and different events. You know, those are my bus kids. Oh, she's so nice and sweet. She's nice and caring and she always gets us to school on time. She's nice and she caring. Have people walking up to me right now like oh that's Miss Addie you know and, and like it's it's fun you know cuz I've got prom pictures and graduation invitations and like I have a whole memory box of just my bus kids I'm fully loaded and ready to drop at about 315 318 and from there I'm done at about 4 o'clock 415 it seems overwhelming to learn that much stuff but it actually is very interesting. If you want to drive this thing, how great is it that somebody's going to tell you everything about it? The to and from school is, is a moment. You know, it's a, you get to see the background that nobody else sees. You see what it looks like when you pick them up and you see what it looks like when you drop them off. You see the difference between kids that get brought to the bus stop by the pet and kids that get brought to the bus stop by the parent. I like that she's caring and she cares about us, our safety, and gets to school on time. When she tells me good morning, it makes me feel happy. She puts us in a good mood to talk to us, stop the bus, talk to us, keeps her bus clean. She's nice, she keeps us in a safe environment, she would never put us in danger. It's a job where it takes a lot of love because you're dealing with other people's children. So you always have to go back to the love and the compassion and the instinct to protect and take care because at the end of the day, you are definitely driving some of the most precious cargo in the entire parish.